Today's class, you will need two blocks. If you don't have blocks, grab thick hardcover books. You can even stack them up. Or you can play with other things that are solid and will feel okay putting some weight on them. Also, grab padding for your knees. I use this rubber mat. You can use a blanket, something else that you have in your house. Some people even use small pillows, like a little throw pillow, and that can work to pad your knees. It can also work if you need a little lift underneath your hips. If your low back is tight, your, hand, uh, your hip flexors are tight, if your knees are coming up here and your low back is curling back, sit on something. So that could be a pillow just underneath your sit bones, or it could be a block. Our first pranayama today is Kapalabhati. I'm going to show it first, but as I show it, come into your ujjayi breath, that deep whisper sounding breath that you make by constricting the breath along the backside of your throat. Feel for slowing down your breath. Inhale, feel your side ribs expand. Exhale all the breath out to get empty and pull your belly back towards the spine so you're keeping the lift all along your spine, even in your exhale. So for Kapalabhati, we will do this seated. I am going to stand so that I can show you and get a little closer to the camera. I'm going to show it with a hand on the belly. Now, for those of you who don't want your breath to expel really far, even practicing at home, you can do this with a handkerchief or a Kleenex that then you can throw out afterwards. And you can just hold this in front of you. But I'm not going to show that so that you can see. My hand is on the belly so you can see what's going on. So what Kapalabhati is, is a short, sharp exhale. The exhale is somewhat forceful, but not so forceful that you feel uh, strain in your neck. The inhale is super passive. The belly balloons out and the air rushes in. So it looks and sounds like this. Now, for those of you who find this difficult as we start going into this, I'm going to show a, what we call a down level, but it's, a version of this that you can do for a very short time. Don't do it for very long because you might get pretty dizzy, but you can do it for a very short time just to feel for this short, sharp exhale where the belly pulls in. And how you do that version is the mouth is open and you breathe in and exhale forcefully out through the mouth. So it, and it's almost like blowing out a, a birthday candle. So it, that one looks and sounds like this. Make sure on either version that you're inhaling between the exhales. And if you're doing the second version through the mouth, do no more than 10 breaths there. We're gonna do this together. About 50 pumps. Stay in your seated cross leg, but just switch the cross of your legs. Come into chest opener, hands behind the hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Have the top of your skull reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Take a partial inhale in. Short, sharp exhales. Take a deep inhale in. 
hold the breath at the top of your inhale. If you're pregnant, you're not doing any of this. You're just doing deep ujjayi breaths into your back ribs, bottom, mid, and top. Then exhale, all the breath out, get empty. Come back into your ujjayi breath. Rest your hands on your thighs. Close your eyes if it's comfortable. And as you inhale, feel your breath move into your bottom ribs, all around the bottom ribs, from left side to right side, from the very bottom of the bottom ribs up to about the start of the mid ribs. Exhale all the breath out to get empty, pulling your belly back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. Inhale, expand your mid back ribs. Feel the breath move underneath the ribs, getting them to widen and broaden. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale the breath into your topmost ribs, getting the breath to move beneath the shoulder blades and all the way up to the top of the shoulders. Now keep that height as you exhale by pulling your belly back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. This time as you breathe in, breathe in along your entire back. The bottom ribs, mid ribs, top ribs, the left side, the right side, all the way up to the shoulders. Feeling for a spot that you're willing to fascinate on today. This could be some sort of spot that feels tight or tweaky or even painful, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that. If that is not fascinating for you today, pick another spot that draws your attention and your curiosity. Take three more breaths and really pinpoint this spot. It doesn't have to be a, a tiny spot. It can be somewhat broad, but take advantage of these three breaths to feel in and pick your spot. Now, luxuriously send your breath into your spot. And if your spot is not quite ready to receive your breath, have your breath swirl around your spot. Exhale all the breath out, pulling the belly in at the end of the exhale. Use today's class to feel for where your attention wants to go. And if it's somewhere in the pose or on your breath, that's fine. But then also turn your attention to your spot and send your breath to your spot. If your attention has wandered completely away from your practice, off of your mat, and it's not somewhere in your body, then take that as an opportunity to notice without judgment for yourself. Just take a deep breath and slowly turn your attention and bring that breath into your spot. And now it's time to come onto your backs. Make sure you have one of your blocks or even both of your blocks nearby. I'm gonna move both of my blocks over here. 
We're not going to use them immediately. Pelvic tilts to start. You can do this even if you're pregnant. Feet are flat on the floor. Activate them. Spread and lift the toes. Press into your feet. And your hands can be wherever they're comfortable. So you could rest them on your belly if you'd like to feel your pelvis tilting. Or you could have them stretched out on the floor, palms up. Breathe in through your whole back, expanding your back bottom ribs across the floor. Exhale, spread the low back down, spread the top of the sacrum into the floor, scoop your tailbone up a little bit. Inhale, gently release that tilting of your tailbone, but spread your back bottom ribs into the floor. Exhale, spread the low back into the floor, press the top rim of the sacrum into the floor, scoop your tailbone up a little bit. Now feel how your sit bone muscles want to squeeze. Add to that, squeeze them a little more. Inhale, gently release the tucking of the tailbone, keep spreading the back ribs across the floor. Exhale, press the low back into the floor, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your sit bone muscles. Inhale, gently release. Now grab your block for some basic abs if they block. Place your block between your thighs as close to your pubic bone as you can get it. If you're pregnant, you're keeping your head down, no breath holds, no pulling your belly down. You can work on pulling the transverse abdominal muscles towards your center line, but no pulling down. No breath holds to repeat that. So basically, if you're pregnant, you're doing pelvic tilts, but squeezing your block. Everyone else, clasp your hands behind the base of your skull, bring your elbows up. Rest your head and your hands back onto the floor. Press into your feet, spread your breath into the bottom, mid, and back rib, uh, top back ribs. Hold the breath, press into your feet, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, making length along your spine and pull your belly towards the floor. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up, pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Move in a way that feels good for your spot and pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Keep pressing your back mid ribs into the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block, keep your feet active. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Pull your belly back towards the floor. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Breathe into your spot. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Get a little higher off of your shoulder blades. Pull the belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Unwind your hands, bring them onto your low belly. Breathe there, feel. And with your exhale, rinse. Anything that's useful that you're building, could be heat, could be this energy that you're building, rinse that through your spot. Keep your block on. We're going to move into elbow to knee using a block. In this version of elbow to knee, when you straighten your leg, it's going to come straight up towards the ceiling. If you're pregnant, you're keeping your head down, no pulling the belly in, no breath holds. And what you're doing instead is feet are flat on the floor. And when it's time to straighten the leg, you're straightening it out at a 45 degree angle so that the block stays straight and does not move side to side. If you have a low back disc injury, you could do that version, but you add to that the breath hold and the pulling the belly down. If you're near a wall, which I am not, you can also do this, including those who are pregnant, 
You can do this with the feet flat on the wall. I'm going to attempt to show that here, even though I don't have a wall. And what you'll be doing instead is lifting one leg up here and the foot that's on the wall will press into the wall. If you're pregnant, do the same thing with the head down, no pulling the belly in. If you're like me and don't have a wall nearby, what you're doing instead is knees come over the hips, feet lower than the line of the knees. If you're not pregnant, clasp your hands behind the base of your skull, elbows up. Inhale into your back midribs and lift the head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, press the top rim of the sacrum down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, bring both elbows towards the left knee. The right leg comes straight up towards the ceiling. Pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath. Spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Squeeze your sit bone muscles. Exhale, both elbows towards the right knee, left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows towards the left knee, right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center, keep squeezing your block. Hold the breath, spread the low back to the floor, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, elbows towards the right knee, left leg straight up towards the ceiling, push up through the ball of the foot without skewing your block to the side and pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, elbows towards the left knee, right leg straight up, keep squeezing your block, pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your sit bone muscles towards the tailbone, squeeze your block. Exhale, elbows towards the right knee, left leg straight up towards the ceiling, pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower the head, lower the feet to the floor. Remove your block, but keep it handy. Breathe and feel here. Feel into your spot. Feel into your abdominal muscles and connect those two places. Rinse the exhale through your spot. Use it to make some space so that you have a little more space to feel more deeply. Setting up for bridge, graze the back of your heels with your longest fingertips. If your knees are uncomfortable with that, if your hands do not reach your heels, just walk your heels as close to your hips as you can get them. Have your feet wider, slightly wider than hips width and the feet parallel. Then spread the arms six inches away from the hips with the palms up. Relax the back of your skull on the floor. Breathe through the low ribs, mid ribs, back, top ribs. Press into your feet. Scoop the tailbone up. Lift your hips towards the ceiling, coming into bridge. Inhale, pressing into the feet, anchoring down. Bring the breath along the front of your body to lift the sternum towards the chin. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles, slide your tailbone towards the back of the knees to lengthen your low back. Feel how much stronger your legs are now. Then grab either one of your blocks and place it underneath your sacrum on the highest, most comfortable edge for you. Or you can grab two blocks and stack them. It takes a little bit of finessing, but you stack them one on top of each other. And again, right underneath your sacrum. You might have to adjust your feet again to make sure they're hips width and parallel. And once your sacrum is set on the blocks, 
Feel what's happening in your legs. Now, if you just released your pressing into your feet, press into your feet more. Breathe in, lift your sternum towards the chin. Exhale, press into your feet, squeeze your sit bone muscles to slide your tailbone towards the back of the knees, lengthening your low back. Feel how strong your legs are. Now press into your feet even more. Inhale, curl your pubic bone towards the belly button. Lift off of the block or the blocks just enough to remove them off to the side. Get them out of the way. Stay up. Keep pressing into your feet. Now a little bit of a self-assist. If your elbows and shoulders are okay with this, bring your hands onto the top of your hip crests. Fingers are pointing upwards, thumbs pointing towards your sacrum. Elbows are splayed out. The top of your arms are resting on the floor. And you're going to press a little bit into the top of the arms. Press into your hips. Inhale, lift your sternum towards the chin. Exhale, scoop the tailbone towards the back of the knees and come down slowly. Keep pressing through your hands to lengthen through the spine. Keep tucking the tailbone up. And then settle your pelvis, then your tailbone to, to the floor. Back traction, bring your hands onto your thighs. If you have further to go, slide the heels of the hands right into your hip creases. Most people should be able to do this. It's okay if your elbows are bending here. And then feel what's going on in your neck. Relax your neck and actually lengthen your neck by pushing the top of your skull towards the back of your room, away from you, away from your shoulders. Breathe in through your back ribs. Exhale, press gently forward and up on your thighs, making length through your whole spine. Now, for some of you, pressing your low back into the floor might feel better. For others, allowing the low back to lift only a tiny bit away from the floor so the pubic bone moves away from the belly button might actually feel better. Personally, I like to slowly move through almost like a little bit of a baby pelvic tilt. And that starts getting into just above my low back. Then gently release, turn all the way over onto your side. Use your hands. Inhale, press up to sit. Let your head and neck relax. Then take the bottom hand on the cheek and lift your head back up. Turbo puppy into turbo dog. Come on to your hands and knees. If being on your knees is super uncomfortable, find a wall. And again, I'm miming a wall here since I don't have a wall in camera vision. And what you'll do is put your hands on the wall, shoulder height and shoulder width, bending the elbows so they line up with your wrists. Walk your feet away from the wall. Keep the elbows bending. Sit bones back, press into your wall, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. And that's Turbo Dog on the wall. A real wall will be better than a mind wall. If you're doing it on the floor, bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, walk your hands forward about four inches, bend your elbows halfway to the floor. Relax your neck. Push into your hands, spread your breath through your upper back. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades, squeezing your elbows towards each other. Now everyone, pull your belly in a little bit, unless you're pregnant. Pull your front bottom ribs in. If you're pregnant, what you're doing is not pulling the ribs in so much as feeling the front ribs moving in the direction of the spine so that the spine starts moving away from the floor a little bit. Not to round the spine towards the ceiling, but keep your spine pretty level. 
and even and not draping down towards the floor. Spread your breath into your upper back, but this time from the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze your elbows towards each other. Take a deep, saturating breath in through the upper back, underneath the shoulder blades. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades, and only if you have further to go, you can lift the hips away from the floor. The knees can stay bent here, especially great for those with low back tweakiness or hamstring tightness. If you'd like, you can straighten the legs. Keep the elbows bending. Relax your neck. Saturate your spot with your breath. Exhale, wrap your shoulder blades. Keep squeezing your elbows towards each other. Bring your knees down. Sit back in embryo. If you're pregnant, just separate your knees so you have room for the babe. You can rest your forehead on a block if that's better. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, slowly roll up. And grab your blocks before we move to the front of the mat. Stand up. Place your blocks on the front outer edges of your mat. This is the time to adjust your clothes, your hair, take a sip of water. Modified suns coming down through a modified squat. Separate your feet at least hips width apart. For most people, you'll need your feet a little wider since we'll move, be moving into a high squat. Press into your feet, activate them, squeeze those sit bone muscles. Inhale, expand your breath into your bottom side ribs. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Slide your tailbone towards the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the arms down. And don't roll down. Make sure that your spine stays straight. Just bend the knees enough to grab your blocks or your stacked books. Then lunge, inhale, step your left foot back. If you need padding, Place it underneath your left knee here, or roll over the side of your mat. Hands stay on the blocks for now. You can adjust your feet by scooting your right foot forward if you need to. Inhale, pressing into your feet and your hands, pull your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles and slide the left sit bone muscle down the back of the left thigh. Take a deep, saturating breath in to your back mid-ribs. Then plank pose. Move your blocks just a little out of the way, hands on the floor. Exhale, step back into your plank. Pull your belly in, pull those front bottom ribs towards your spine. Lower the knees, breathe in, keep pulling your belly in. Exhale, come down slowly, shoulder blades away from the ears, shoulders away from the floor. Low cobra. Move your hands forward 12 inches. Curl your pubic bone towards the floor. Inhale, pull the ribs forward, elbows two inches off the floor. Keep pressing back and down through the feet. Pull the ribs forward, lower down, hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot forward. Grab your blocks, hands on the blocks. Press into your feet, inhale, pull the ribs forward. Exhale, squeeze your right sit bone muscle down the back of the right thigh. Press into your, both of your feet to keep lifting your ribs away from the waist. 
Take another deep breath into your spot here, noticing already what's happening. Modified forward fold, meaning no forward fold. Coming into a high squat. Tuck your back toes, hands stay on your blocks. Step forward, keep the knees bent. The belly is resting on your thighs and the feet are pretty wide. Walk your hands up onto your thighs, keep your back straight, inhale, pull your belly in to lift up. Lift your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Keep pressing through your feet. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, a little faster, coming down through your high squat, hands on the blocks. Step your right foot forward, inhale, lunge. Press into your feet, ribs forward. Plank. Hands down onto the floor, tuck the back toes, step back, exhale, pull the belly in, pull your front bottom ribs in. Inhale, lower the knees, tops of the feet, press into the floor. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Belly and chest come down at the same time. Low Cobra, move your hands forward 12 inches. Inhale, pull the ribs forward. Pulling the ribs forward, lower down, hands beneath the shoulders. Exhale, down dog, wrap your shoulder blades. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the right foot forward. Bring your hands back onto your blocks. Press into your feet, pull the ribs away from the waist. Exhale, high squat. Keep the hands on the blocks. Inhale, stand up, arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, arms up, exhale forward, not forward fold, squat, high squat. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot back, ribs forward. If you do have further to go, the hands can come onto your thigh or even up overhead. Plank, exhale, hands down, step back. Lower the knees, lower all the way to the floor, belly and chest come down at the same time. Low Cobra, move your hands forward 12 inches. Inhale, pull the ribs forward. Pull the ribs forward, lower down. Hands beneath the shoulders, exhale, down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot towards the left thumb. Grab your blocks, pull the ribs forward. Exhale, high squat. Press into your feet. Inhale, walk your hands up your thighs, arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Standing poses, move your blocks off to the side. Separate your feet four feet apart for warrior two with back traction. Rotate, and I'm going to be mirroring you here. So rotate your left toes towards the left. Your right toes move towards the left about one inch. Press into the outer edge of your right foot. Bend the left knee, warrior two. Shoulders over the hips. Bring the hands onto the hips. Press a little bit down and already feel what kind of pelvic tilt you have. For most of us, our hip bones come forward and our tailbone goes back a little bit. So what we're going to do to lengthen the low back is squeeze your sit bone muscles. Inhale, pressing into the hips, telescope your ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles and send your tailbone towards the floor and feel how that brings your hip crests back a little bit into your hands. It also engages the muscles in your buttocks and you might feel how it actually makes your legs feel stronger. Press into both feet. Inhale, expand your breath into your bottom side ribs and lift up from there. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Keep squeezing those sit bone muscles and maybe sink a little lower into your warrior two as long as your left knee stays lined up with the left ankle. Push into the left foot, inhale, straighten the leg. Coming through horse stance, first parallel your feet. Then separate 
your toes about 45 degree angle, bend your knees, coming onto your horse. Then bring your hands somewhere on your thighs. Make sure they're not on your knees, on your thighs. And the more flexible you get over time, the more you can bring the heels of your hands towards your hip creases. But look at your knees quickly and make sure they're pointing in the same direction as your toes. So just adjust your toes to line up with the direction of your knees. Press into your hands and your shoulders can hike up quite a bit here. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles and sink a little lower onto your horse, sliding your tailbone towards the floor. Push into both feet, inhale, straighten the legs, parallel your feet, warrior two on the other side. Rotate your right toes straight out to the right. Left toes come towards the right about one inch. Bend your right knee. Hands on your hips. Press into them gently. Squeeze those sit bone muscles. Inhale, telescope your ribs up, get taller. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor and pull your belly towards the spine. If you're pregnant, pull your transverse abdominals in towards your center line. Inhale, pushing into the hips gently. Telescope the ribs up and feel into your spot. Exhale, sink a little lower, wider in your warrior two, bringing that right knee directly over the ankle. Push into your right foot, inhale, straighten the legs, parallel your feet. Court stance, back traction, rotate your toes out, 45 degree angle or so. Bend your knees, hands on your thighs, press into them, inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Sink a little lower onto your horse. This is great for everybody, but it's really great for those who are pregnant. Push into the feet, inhale, stand up, straightening your legs. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs. First, parallel your feet. Rotate the left toes towards the left. Bend the knee, warrior two. Let your arms relax. Spread your breath into your upper back. Hold the breath. Shrug the shoulders straight up. Squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze. Drag down the back. Breathe into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze straight back. Squeeze. Drag down your back. Spread your breath between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades out of your elbows. Squeeze, drag down your back. Relax your arms. Do another round on your own. And if you've lost track of what you do in the first stage versus the third stage or the second stage, don't worry about it. Do what feels good and what you remember. It's three stages. And as you move through it, feel how this affects your spot. When you're done, relax your arms, push into the left leg, inhale, straighten the leg, parallel your feet, Horse stance, rotate your toes out, 45 degree angle, bend your knees. Hands on your thighs, as close to your hip creases as you can get them. Inhale, push into the hands, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles, sink a little lower onto your horse. Push into your feet, inhale, straighten the legs. Parallel the feet, warrior two shoulder shrugs. Right foot towards the right, bend the knee, warrior two. 
Relax the arms, spread your breath into the upper back. Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders straight up, squeeze straight back, exhale, squeeze, drag down your back. Breathe into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze straight back, squeeze, drag down your back. Luxuriously balloon breath into your upper back. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips or shoulder blades. Add your elbows, squeeze, drag down your back. Relax your arms. Second round on your own. Exploring this breathing into your back and connecting into your spot. Once you're done, press into your right foot, inhale, straighten the leg, parallel the feet. Rotate your toes out, 45 degree angle, come back onto your horse, hands on your thighs, press into them. Let your shoulders hike way up. Breathe in, telescope your ribs. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles, sink a little lower onto your horse. Press into your feet, inhale, straighten your legs. Parallel your feet, heel toe your feet underneath your hips. Warrior one with telescoping the ribs, which is also a back traction. As you feel, feel for lengthening your spine. Come to the front of your mat, have your feet at least four inches apart. If you can feel for getting your ankles right underneath your hip bones, do that. But four inches, did I say four feet apart? It's four inches apart between your feet. That for a lot of people is about where your feet need to be, but it's okay if they're a little wider. Bring your hands onto your hips. Step your right foot back about three feet. If you're really tall, it'll be about three and a half feet. Get your right heel to come onto the floor. Unless that tweaks your low back, then you can lift your heel up. If your hamstring is tight, do this with the heel up. Hips are towards the front of the mat. And feel with your hands what your right hip is doing versus your left hip. If your right hip can't come forward, step your right foot out to the right. Ground the right heel back down. If your heel is down, use it to press into it. Squeeze that right sit bone down the back of your thigh, even if the heel is up. Inhale, push into your hands, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles to slide your tailbone towards the floor. Inhale, feel for lengthening along the spine, telescoping the ribs up. And as you exhale, feel into your spot. Feel for the space that you're creating by making space along your spine. Then inhale, hop your right foot next to your left. Uriana as our in-between. So stay at the front of your mat. I'm just turning forward so you can see what's going on. I'm going to demo Uriana quickly. I'm lifting my shirt so you can see my belly. We're doing this in basically a high squat. Feet are wider than the hips, hands somewhere on your thighs but not your knees. Press into the hands. I'm going to show it first so just watch what's happening with my belly. It starts with an inhale then a forceful exhale. Holding the breath out, suction your belly back and up towards the spine. Before you need to inhale, let the belly balloon out, then breathe in. If you're pregnant, you're just working on back traction here and ujjayi into your back, bottom, mid, and top ribs. 
This is what Udiana looks like. I'm gonna keep my shirt lifted while I do it with you, but turn to the side. So everyone, bend your knees, hands somewhere on your thighs. If you're pregnant, you're just working on the back traction with deep Ujjayi breaths. Everyone else, start with a deep inhale. Exhale, forcefully all the breath out. Get empty, then suction your belly back and up towards the spine. You can drop the chin towards the chest. When you need to inhale, let your belly go first, then breathe in. The second one, exhale forcefully all the breath out, get empty. <sighs> Suction your belly back and up toward the spine without inhaling. When you do need to inhale, let your belly go, breathe in. Exhale forcefully all the breath out, get empty. <sighs> Stay empty, suction your belly back and up towards the spine like a false inhale like you're sucking through a straw, drinking a really thick shake and nothing is coming out, but you're not taking any inhale in. Before you need to breathe in, let your belly go. Stand up. Warrior one on the other side, hands on your hips, press into active feet, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Step your left foot back about three and a half feet, three to three and a half feet, Heel to the floor, unless your hamstring's tight or your low back is really tweaky. Plug that left heel into the floor. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze that left sit bone muscle down the back of the left thigh and slide your tailbone towards the floor. Feel that pelvic tilt that you're doing to lengthen your low back. Inhale, spread your breath into your back bottom ribs. Get the ribs to widen. Exhale, pull the front mid ribs towards the spine so that you keep your spine lined up to lift away from your hips. Breathe and feel into your spot. Start noticing the changes that happen as you practice, as you breathe, and as you continually bring your attention into your spot. Then slowly hop your left foot forward. Now it's time to come onto our backs for some back traction. It's warm down time. So sit down in a way that feels most comfortable for you. If sitting on the floor is super uncomfortable or really not feasible for you for any reason, I'm gonna show back traction or back release pose rather on a chair. You sit forward on the chair so you're not leaning on the back of the chair. The feet are lined up so the ankles are in underneath the knees and the feet are about hips width apart. What you'll do is you can even grab this right leg, and I'm mirroring you here, and put the right ankle over your thigh. Hands close to your hip creases, press down a little bit, but forward, make space in your hip flexors as you telescope the ribs up. Exhale, pull the belly in and press a little bit into that right ankle to send that right knee down towards the floor and forward away from the hip. You'll also do the other side, but for everyone else on the floor, this is what I will be cueing. So if you're on a chair, just follow along. On the floor, have your feet on the floor to begin. Bring your, we're gonna start with the left thigh over the, or left ankle rather, over the right thigh. Some of you might be most comfortable here and have your hands on your thighs and traction, your thighs away from the waist and also away from the floor. So it's forward and a little bit up. If you have further to go, lift that right knee and right foot off of the floor. Grab either behind the right thigh or in front of the right shin. Your left hand 
and left arm is like threading the needle between both legs. You're not wrapping that arm around the left leg. Inhale through your back ribs, even if you're on a chair. Exhale, squeeze that right thigh towards your chest. Shoulder blades towards the floor. Shoulder blades away from the ears. If your neck is hiking up, release your grip a little bit to relax your neck. Breathe into your spot. Exhale, if you have further to go, squeeze your right thigh towards your chest a little more. And if you're on the floor, it's okay that the hips come away from the floor a little bit. Bring both feet back to the floor. Let's do the other side. The right ankle comes over the left thigh, near the knee. Flex that foot. Lift the left foot away from the floor. Grab behind the thigh in front of the shin. Make sure that you press the top of the skull away from the neck. Breathe in through your back ribs. Exhale, squeeze your left thigh towards your chest. Luxuriate in the deepness and the feeling quality of your breath. As you exhale, swirl that breath around your spot and luxuriate in how much more you can feel there. Release both feet back to the floor. If you're on a chair, you can stay on a chair to do a seated meditation here. If you're on the floor and lying on the floor is uncomfortable, sit back up. You can sit on the floor or a chair to do a seated meditation. Setting up for Shavasana, couple of options. Option one, feet as wide as your mat, knock the knees together. Hands could rest on your belly and on your chest or below your chest or your arms can be on the floor with the palms up, relaxing the shoulder blades. If you have further to go, you could straighten your legs. Your feet are at least a foot apart so that your feet can just splay out to the side. Some of you might feel that your low back gets a little crimped up here. So then just slide your feet a little bit back onto the floor, press into them to scoop your tailbone away from your low back ribs and then lower your legs back to the floor. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Let your deep breath go.
slowly bring your attention back to your whole body. Take a deep feeling breath, fill your whole core, which includes your spot. The core is from the bottom of the pelvic bowl to the top inside of your skull. Rinse the deepness of your own breath through every cell of your body with your exhale. Then slowly bend your knees. Bring the soles of your feet to the floor. Pause and breathe in. Roll over to one side or the other. Pause. Breathe in deeply. Then using your hands on the floor, inhale, push yourself your torso up to sit. Let your neck and head relax the whole way up. And once you're upright, use your bottom hand on the full cheek and lift your head up with the strength of your arms. Find your comfortable seated position, deepen your breath back into your ujjayi breath. As you inhale, expand your bottom back ribs, then your mid back ribs, then your top back ribs. With your exhale, rinse the deepness of your breath in and around your spot. So you're making even a deeper connection. Take another deep inhale in feeling into your spot. Allow yourself to really luxuriate in feeling your spot, feeling your own body. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep, luxurious breath in. Namaste. Happy whatever day it is that you're practicing this. Namaste. Thank you.